couldn't get to Devil's Caves due to his torches running out, etc. So we've come to Balsa Stone to see if we can yet again um, find anything interesting. Yeah. Anything so what happened on your on your last investigation? Yeah. Previous investigation. Yeah. Well, we've been here three times now. And one one time, Gareth, we're walking past um, what's his name, Gareth? David Marsh. David Marsh's grave. Uh, a fallen soldier from in Iraq. And he got the feeling as if to, to, as if to say, well, like stop, you're not going past here. And he felt someone were putting their hand on yeah, your chest. Yeah, that's what putting their hand on his chest. Anyway, at that time, as he, as he was saying that, I got like an horrible feeling come over me. I felt like really like, Oof, I just don't want to be here. Yeah. And who else were it away as? Chris. Chris. Chris said the same thing. So we just decided to walk back, uh, and and that was that. Uh, another um, occurrence we've been up here was the bench on the end when it uh, got a. Th we're about to have a watch. Were they? Oh, no, stop a sec, Lee. Go on, carry on. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a bench um, t towards the, the end of the graveyard, uh, and there were Gareth, Adrian, and um, Chris sat on this bench. And we were asking questions like if there's any spirits present or whatnot. Um, show some sort of sign of being here. Anyway, bench yeah. seems to seem to jolt. Uh, and that's about we checked that. underneath, like see if there any loose stones or anything that it could. Sorry if I'm, if I'm seeming a bit. Um, that it could drop off. You know what I mean? And uh, we looked at the feet of it, and the feet were actually sunk into the ground. Right. So for it to jerk, lift up and jerk like that, something like to actually move it. In interesting. It, it was sunk actually into the ground, so it couldn't really move that freely. Well, we'll see if we can do that again tonight. See if it yeah. see if it happens again. Sorry, Lee, I was just distracted. Oh, by it's, that. it's all right. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm saying is. <coughs> It seems to be that, that this graveyard, because it's built on, I believe it's built on granite. Yeah. Is, is that's why we're getting so so much activity, because like like I said, we're not very deep enough. Yeah, and that. Um, well, I as I were calling out, ask if, if if there's any spirits present or any entities present or whatnot, show some sort of sign. I, I asked I asked for any spirits present to, to stand to stand to my left. Sorry, I'm getting distracted, mate. Hey, it's all right. Sorry. Uh, any spirits just stand to my left um, towards towards gravestone, and yeah. after I got home to check photos, I was absolutely surprised because I, there, there's a woman on it, and I know it's a woman because I can tell distinctively she's, she's smiling, but she looks really drawn in and, and skinny, uh, and I want to see if we can see if we get her out tonight. Like, yeah, well, we'll see if we can capture it, Carl. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, that'd we'll, be fantastic. We'll man, see yeah. what happens. Yeah. yeah, I'd appreciate that. I'll just follow you lot now. Yeah. Around the graveyard, Let's see if I get out on camera. Sorry, I was a bit distracted about what they were saying. Like. No, it's all right. Supposedly, yeah. I didn't see no one. Where? Let's let's get him on camera. <laughs> He's weird. He's calm, mate, now. Is he? Yeah. Looking all fences, mate. Yeah, yeah. Just staring at him. Who's staring? Who? Staring at him. Like that, or they're going to get my sheep's crooked, right? Having a lot of it. Well, they probably thought these doors we're, we're up to no good. Not so, no. They're always locked. Very weird. At this time. All locked down. I mean, any time we've been up here. You never know. It's one of them flying doors, isn't it? You're not. Yeah. Yep. Yes, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll follow you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna go up here for five minutes. Follow us when you're ready. Nice. It's, it's, it's a good place, boss. Totally. I mean, our family, after everywhere we've been. I mean, we've not been, really been too many places. We've been to Monk Bridge. Yeah. St Michael's. Been to Bradfield. Uh, we've been to Windle Woods and we've been here. Oh, I yeah. find that this place, Bolsterstone Cemetery, is the best place for activity. I mean, this place I've got most orbs. This yeah. place I've got two two manifestations on, on, on film, on camera. Yeah. 
what you what you can actually see on on photo on the website sure, yeah on photo yeah um, I mean like I said I've got orbs and it's got a different feel to any other place that I've any other place that I've been. Do you feel out now like do you feel easy do you mm, feel I feel I feel quite easy. I'm just looking all there mate. Oh yeah. Still there near that squaddy's grave again. Oh yeah. I must have seen some at move. Did you? It's probably just my eyes playing tricks on me. It could be. It could be Cole. We shall go in there. In the final front K2. Yeah. Let's go and ask some questions. Where do you want to sit? Do you want to sit on this bench? If you want or to, you yeah. Want me to sit on? yeah. Yeah. They're following us now, so yeah. we've got a full team of that. Yep. I mean, we've been up here. This is the fifth time we've been up here. On two occasions, Gareth will tell you yourself, on two occasions, we've felt quite peaceful in here, to be honest with you, even though it's a cemetery and it's dark. Falling asleep. Yeah. Flash. Yeah, on that bench down there. We've actually, yeah. Sat it, on the bench, felt, didn't felt it, quite chilled out, quite relaxed. Quite peaceful. Yeah. I mean, Matt and Gemma come, and Gemma were really scared one time, so. First time I've First time she came, yeah. yeah. Remember when we were walking up there, Chris, when we got to David Marsh's grave? Uh, uh, horrible. We all stopped dead. Well, we, all, we, all, we all walking in a line, and we all stopped dead at exactly the same time. It yeah. felt like someone were going. Yep. Fine. Right, don't, like, go. don't walk past. Don't walk any further. Haven't so, yeah, gone past it, have we? No. no not yet, no. no. See if he's driving in his bunk from his place. He's going to put clothes on his bed, so. Smiling at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I read an article about about Bolsa Stone on internet. Oh yeah. And it says uh, in 1600s. Flash. Oh, Come. In 1600s, a bloke came up here. That's um, just like savior of the universe. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> um, a bloke came up here, an I up bloke. Yeah. Um, from from some department, I don't know what. Um, and he came up here because he felt that Bolsa Stone had gained better health, so he came up here and knocked his countryside. Yeah. Better health. And he had a game of bowls and he lost 7 6 down on really? down, um, rugby pitch there. Jesus. He lost, um, well obviously, it didn't used to be a rugby pitch in the 1600s, did it? Um, he lost 7 6 on bowls. And he came to Castle, uh, not Castle Pub here. Yeah. I believe at one point it might have been something else, but he came to Castle, Castle Pub uh, and he had a meal and four beers and it cost him 4D. Do you know what I mean? It's good, it's good to read about things, isn't it? Like? Oh, yeah. I was saying to him, uh, I read on the internet. Uh, you know when when this was like like years ago, the 1600s, there were a small there were a small church there. Anyway, someone come. I think he was a, 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 a. I'm not sure if he was a priest or something. Or it was someone quite quite important. And he came to Bolsterstone because he wanted some fresh air because he didn't feel very well. And he thought Bolsterstone and countryside would make him feel better. So they're not like changing air and whatnot. Anyway, rubber pitches down there. It says that, that they used to be an old, that used to be an old bowling pitch. They lost seven, this bloke lost seven six on bowls, and he was really disappointed about it. Uh, and he went to I, I think it was either Castle Inn or some something. What's that there? Flashing that window. What window? Ah, oh, it's a pub, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, TV, he went to, it? I think it was still called Castle Inn then in 1600s. He went there and he got four beers and his dinner, and it cost him four d. And it's, you know what I mean? It's good to read, read stuff what's like that. What's that mean, though? F what's 4D? It's four old pennies, isn't it? Yep. Yep. So... Yeah, but what's that got to do with all? No, I'm saying, I'm just like explaining, <laughs> like, you know, from history at place and stuff, like, it's 1600s, like, they were bowling then and stuff, you know what I mean? It's oh, right. it's good. I find it interesting. I thought there was... Wait, some, oh, I, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I thought there were a link between bowling no, and 4D. Like, um, I'm, it's just... You know what I mean? It's good to it's good to know things. Even like the bits of information what's not even related to it, it's good in it. You you think sixteen hundreds and someone like bowling in sixteen hundreds, it's it's interesting mate, you know what I mean? I think it's good. Whether it's related or not. Oh yeah.